Greetings. Welcome back to Pink Oddbird. So today I'm here with the April Music Vault uh, book. And this book is going to be made after inspiration from the song called Waves by Camille. And I will link to all of the information about this song in the description box below. And in the song, she's actually talking about a few different types of waves, um, including the ocean, including x-ray, gamma waves, and um, even goodbye. So uh, there's a lot of different interpretations to this, and I went with a mostly uh, ocean theme, and I did incorporate some of the other elements as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, so this book is huge. It barely fits into the frame. It measures uh, 10 inches by five and a half and the spine is four inches. Um, as you can see, the closure is a vintage piece of seam binding and this, <laughs> the pin that was in it was actually kind of rusty and so there's a little bit of rust on this, which I thought was kind of interesting. And excuse my hands and, and, and nails, I've been working all weekend and so my everything is like in shambles so <laughs> and I have glue all over my hands so that's the closure um, I just simply put waves on the front cover of this I'll bring it up so you can see I just did it on a little bit of muslin and I stitched around that and um, I thought that I wasn't going to use this fabric <laughs> and then it turns out that I am and the reason why is because it does look kind of like ocean-ish um, but also because of these chevron patterns remind me sort of of wave charts. So I thought that was kind of neat. And then on the spine, I have this beautiful trim that I got at Hobby Lobby when I was in Florida. And then in the center, there are these glass uh, mosaic pieces that I've um, put down with some gel medium. And I got those from Sheila and some Happy Mail a while back. And then this is the back. It's just plain. Um, okay, sorry, this book is huge. On the spine, or on the um, profile view, you can see there's uh, six paperclip charms. Some of these are seashells that I got from Priscilla. I did do some pearls because she mentions pearls in the song. There's a big bead there. There's a clear one here. Pearls. Lots of fun things. Oh, and a little um, bulb pen with some... Um, seed beads on there and that's attached to the clip okay let's go ahead and get inside all right so there are five signatures in this book um one thing that i did do with the signatures is i did some of the signatures shorter than some of the others and that's because i wanted it to carry on with the waves theme so there are some that are eight and a half and some that are nine and a half and so i just staggered those into the book um, you probably won't really be able to notice that, but you know, I know, so <laughs> that's all that matters. All right. So on the inside, I have some beautiful fabric that I got from Priscilla and, um, all right, so let's just go ahead and look. So these are some vintage pictures, um, in the song, she's talking about love being a wave. Um, and so I found this, uh, old vintage picture here. There it goes. And... I, they, they, they look like they're pretty happy in love. And then I found this one. And these kids look like, you know, they're standing off in the distance in front of some uh, a body of water. And then just a little March little piece. And then I just have some fabric here with a little quote. I'm going to try and go pretty fast because this book is huge. Um, and not so much state too much of the obvious. <laughs> Okay, so um, I had some tissue paper sitting by my desk, and I was like, oh, this is um, blue. That, that's the other thing I wanted to say is, in addition to why I didn't really want to do an ocean uh, book, you know, and I'm happy that I did do it because now I've done one, but um, I did want to have, I, I did want to do a blue book, and so I had a lot of blue items that were saved, and so um, blue is obviously going to be the primary color in this book. So, um, I just did a little collage there with a little glitter butterfly, and this is just a little booklet. That's a little tuck spot there. Just random scraps. Nothing to be too, um, persnickety about. All right. 
Um, the coffee stain paper in this book came from Shana. So thank you very much, Miss Shana. Just a little notepad there that I sewed on. I did a lot of these um, hand dyed. All of the paper, you know, there's a lot of papers in here that are hand dyed. And then there are also some of these cards and stuff like that that I hand dyed. I did that on Instagram live one day. Thanks to you all for who were, who were here hanging out with me while I did that. But, um, and then I did the collage stamping tutorial that Dolly, who is Gypsy Rose Papery on YouTube, um, has on her channel. And I will uh, link to that tutorial as well. There's some sorry silk in here. So you could see some of this hand dyed paper, book pages, some little twine there. Um, I had this little booklet that I found at the thrift store and it had mermaid papers on it. So I thought that was kind of perfect. A lot of different types of papers in this book. Um, here's just some old uh, vintage book pages that I paper, or stapled together so you can read. It's talking about water. So that's some security paper. I got it in Florida. There's one of those tags. Um, I also drew a lot of inspiration from this book, um, in this book from Jibbin. And I sent her a message and, you know, and I let her know that she's an inspiration for some things in here and just in general because she is amazing. So thank you, Jibbin. So here, in this um, in this little excerpt here, it is um, talking about jellyfishes. <laughs> so what I did was I had all these like weird like sh sizes and lengths of ribbon. So what I just did was I made a little um, jellyfish. So I had some glitter paper and then I just put the little snippet there and then these are the tentacles and I thought that was kind of fitting also because when you see a jellyfish swim their tentacles wave <laughs> so it's an organza bag that I cut in half and then I decoupaged these fish behind there and then at the top of the organza bag I made a little shaker with these um little seed beads and some other sequins in there so that it would kind of look like the bubbles from the fish so that's kind of thought that was kind of cute and then just some ephemera here a couple tags and that's the end of the first signature Okay, so second signature here, some more vintage book page. I just did a little collage on that. There's another little vintage book page and little fabric pocket. There's some of that handmade paper that I hand dyed. Here's a little, um, you know, it's one of these little things where I stitched in some hand dyed paper and just made like a little notebook out of it. And then this is an idea that um, Liz, the paper project had with the little tags and the stamp on it. And then I just did a little fabric collage in the front with some more of that trim. The trim is the same trim that's on the spine, but I liked it because it reminded me of sand dollars, kind of. Some vintage buttons, some velvet here at the top, another one of those tags and little pocket that I decoupaged uh, some napkin on. So here you have a little octopus and then you can see the pocket behind it, but I did this stenciling effect where it kind of looks like coral. Um, so it kind of looks like he's swimming in the coral reef. Lots of places to write. Um, although the book is giant, I did want to make sure but there were some places to journal in here. So we have a little tag here on the page, some coffee stained paper. So here's an example of one of those um, x-rays that I have. Um, so kind of goes in with the song. 
It's a decoupage fish here on this bag. Another coral reef pocket. <laughs> and then here we have um, a little mermaid. And if you flip the page, it looks like she is now in the coral pocket with a wave. There's fish. So I found some sequins in my stash. <laughs> and I was like, oh, um, as I was looking through, I kept finding more and more colors. So I have like a deep green and then dark turquoise and then it goes lighter all the way up to white. And I was like, oh, that would look kind of neat, like ocean-ish. And then there's just a little, there we have some more rays. Um, I think these are sound waves and gamma rays. Um, another interesting uh, tidbit about this song is in the song, once you listen to it, she's actually making all of the sounds um, herself. So everything that is made up in the song comes from her voice. So I thought that was pretty um, interesting and unique. And in the background of the song, you'll notice that she's kind of saying, da, 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 da. so that um, <laughs> I, I had to Google this and, and find and, you know, type it in and translate it myself to see if it was accurate. But it's true. Um, in the song, she's doing Morse code. And um, so I have a little scroll here. And I put the exact Morse code that she is singing in the song. And basically what this Morse code is saying is, show me the waves, which is a lyric in one of the songs. So, And that just goes in here, which I'll put that back in a little bit. So that was, a, I was literally kind of like mind blown when I, when I read that because I was like, what that, I just thought that was insanely brilliant. So another one of those, uh, Dolly collage tags, and I just have some corrugated glitter paper there. And here we have another little vintage book page. It's in a little belly band here. So we're starting the third signature now. I just love all this. There's some napkin decoupage there. Some more of my coral reef. <laughs> Some sorry silk there. Um, I thought that was kind of neat because, you know, if you listen to the song, it's kind of haunting, but I don't, it's hard to tell if, you know, I guess it could bring about many different emotions, but maybe sadness with the water. And then I just did some gibbet inspired stitching down here at the bottom to make it like water. Another x-ray here. I thought this one was kind of interesting because she has on her necklace still. <laughs> Just some ephemera. And then here, this is a little another little vintage book page that I have. But I thought it was kind of interesting because he's doing, you know, like some electronic data processing. So obviously there's going to be some wave wavelengths in there involved. And then here's a big circuit room. And then these little kids talking about fishing. It's a little vintage book page there. Here, some more of that tissue paper that was laying around my desk. So I just, just, it's not a pocket, but I just, you know, layered it on here to make it look like a wave with some little trim there. This is a Tracy Fox inspired envelope uh, notebook. And so I just used the Tim Holtz paper. And then once you flip this open, you have a large place to journal. And then it just folds back up. just like that. And then I just had this hanging over the edge here. And I did do lots of little like ribbon stitches along the page borders and stuff to give it some interest. And here we have another little wave tag that just goes back here. So in the song, she's on, um, like I said, talking about um, Wi-Fi and cells and stuff like that. So <laughs> what I was trying to do here was make a little Wi-Fi um, signal. Like, you know, when you go somewhere and it shows that they have Wi-Fi, how it has like those arches. Well, I was trying to do that here. And maybe I picked the wrong paper because this is some of that handmade paper, but it was really hard to do. <laughs> but that's what that's supposed to be. 
So here we have the center of the signature. These just flip out for more writing space. And then in addition to that, we have a bookmark and I just put that on some like raffia and then it has this little cool hardware piece. I don't really know what it is. It kind of looks like a bottle opener maybe, <laughs> but it looks kind of aquatic. So I put it in here. So here's some more of my wave chart stitching. Little seahorse that I decoupaged. And here we have some more uh, vintage book page here, some, some more circuit circuitry, <laughs> circuit board stuff. And then another one of those little um, writing spots with some scrap paper. This is what the other side looks like. And I just did a little collage with one of my, these are some of the vintage world stamps that I got when I was in Florida. So in addition, where I got that paper with the mermaid tails that were at the top, it was covered in this, um, the book that that paper came from was covered in this sequence trim. And I thought it was kind of neat. Like you won't be able to see it on the camera, but if you run your finger the opposite way, it, it has like a silver tone. And so it really looks like fish scales. So I thought that was pretty awesome. And that's just a little flip up there with some sari silk at the top. All right, so here we have another dolly tag and I just did some uh, vellum or sorry, velvet, a velvet tab at the top of that. And then here we have another vintage book page. And on this one, I just sewed on this side. So maybe you can write on there. And then on this side, it's talking about blue ribbons. So that's some sorry along the edge here. This is um, inspired by Shana and Dolly because it's one of Dolly's tags. But I didn't embellish it as much as Shana did. But I did get this idea of putting the ribbon here from Shana because she has a tutorial on her channel, which I will link to as well on how you can deco decorate those Rolodex cards. And then this is uh, just some paper that I got from Kim. Some hand dyed tracing paper. And that's the end of the fourth signature. No, that's the end of the third signature. A fourth signature. So we have a little collage here at the front and then there's a little quote down here and then I just put a little tag in this pocket here. And I have a, I added a doily inside the inside of this envelope, on the inside of this envelope. And then I just have a little vintage postcard here with the beach scenery. It's a little imagery here and then another big tag that you can journal on. It's another one of these little journaling spots. There's, uh, I believe, three sheets here. Yeah. Some vintage music paper. And then here, this clip is where the little bulb with the seed beads are. And then um, we have a little wood, wooden tag. And I just did Dolly's process on that tag. And it says, love is a wave, because that's a lyric from the song. So I got a little burlap bag in here and it's a double pocket so there's a tag behind one of those dolly tags and then there's also of course the pocket that is inside the bag and then I just have some sorry silk ruffled down here. A little taggy tag here and then some more decoupaging with a little fabric pocket and then I just randomly stitched some ribbons here on the side. is a pocket. Another crashing waves journaling spot and it's got coffee stained lined paper on the back. And then here I try to do some of that neat little like gibbet and dolly um, seaweed stitching. So that's what that is. And then we have another little pocket here. 
And then I have this collage on the back side. Some more sari silk. This is a little belly band and it's got some more um, waves and there's a little vintage book page here and it's talking about cells and x-rays which both go with the song. So here's some stationery from Dolly and then there's another little pocket area there. Some vintage book pages here with a little collage and another vintage world stamp. All right, and we're on the last signature now. Um, this is a pocket here, and inside this little glassing envelope, I put some of those vintage world stamps in there for you. Some more of that hand dyed tracing paper, some more paper that I dyed there, another little boat image and another one of those collage tags. A little vintage doily here. So here we have a little glassine bag booklet and I've just um, stamped this mermaid here on the cover. And so you've got the two pockets in the front and the back. And then inside of it, just some note paper to do some writing. A little whale in the center there. One of those collage tags. Some more seam binding here on the edge. Some more of that sewing. A little vintage book page here on the edge. And um, I just folded this one up like an envelope, but... That's what it looks like. And I have some little rocks, and there's the center of the signature, a little wave image and another collage tag. And I just added this little, well, can I get it off? Yeah. That's what that looks like. And another glitter tag here. Some more of the hand dyed paper, or handmade paper I should say. So here, I really wanted to put this book page in, <laughs> and it's ridiculously old. Um, so it started really cracking and tearing when I folded it, but it's talking about waves of the ocean, and it's got little wave, um, or little ocean and wave imagery there. And then there's some more about the ocean on the back. Even though it says poems of sorrow and death, um, it's still a nice poem. Um, so I just put some masking tape and you can kind of read through that to the words, but I had to put this in here and I didn't have a choice but to fold it in this case. Um, another little collage here, what do oceans do for us? And then a little mermaid image here. And I think this was actually painted by Howard Pyle. Um, it was unfinished, but somebody else went back in and added the fish and something else, but I can't remember what. And then we have one of these little paper clips here. And this is just um, an old uh, like looking envelope. I just uh, did some of that collaging on it from Dolly's tutorial. There's some Seven Gypsies uh, paper in here that I just folded up. And then on the front, there's a little collage um, that makes a belly band. And so it's just different kinds of paper. Um, I made one of these tags with the uh, embossed vellum. And it's uh, like the mermaid's tail and some other little design there. But Dolly has this tutorial on her channel as well. And like I said, I'll link to her channel. And she has a, a way that you can find all these tutorials easily um, on her homepage. Some more imagery. There's a little flip out here. I love that page. It came out so pretty. That tracing paper has a pretty sheen thanks to the tattered angels. There's another pocket here. There's the back of the book. <laughs> and it's going to be hard for me to lift this, but there's my stamp. 
<laughs> so this is it, you guys. Woo wee waves. This is it. It's going to be listed up in my Etsy shop. Um, I commend everyone who makes these like super ridiculously giant books because I've had the struggle of my life sewing these signatures in, <laughs> but I got it done. So I guess that's going to be it for me today. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Thank you all for being here. Um, don't forget to check out the song uh, down below. I will link all the information that you need. Also, I think I've made it over 2,000 subscribers, so I think we are in store for something soon, so stay tuned for that as well. Be sure to tune in next time because you never know which way this odd flock of ours is going to go because birds of a feather craft together. And until next time, toodaloo.